Today, let's talk about seeing Jesus and being like Jesus. And I want to read to you from 1 John chapter 3, verse 2. Beloved, now we are children of God, and it has not yet been revealed what we shall be, but we know that when He is revealed, we shall be like Him, for we shall see Him as He is. Again, that's 1 John chapter 3, verse 2. Many people want to be like someone else. We see the lives of celebrities and famous people, and we often want to be just as they are, or at least seem to be. We, have, we want to have their talent, their fame, their glory, and their wealth. God makes a promise to His children that they will be like Jesus. Our present standing is plain. Now we are children of God, yet our future destiny is clouded. It has not yet been revealed what we shall be. We don't know in the kind of detail we would like to know about what we will become in the world beyond. In this sense, we can't even imagine what we will become in glory. But we are not left completely in the dark about our future state. When Jesus is revealed to us, either by his coming for us or by our coming to him, we shall be like him. Now, this does not mean that we will cease to be ourselves, full of our own distinct personality and the character that God has given us. Heaven will not be like the nirvana of Eastern mysticism, where all personality is dissolved into the deity like a drop of water dissolves into the ocean. No, we will still be ourselves, but our character and nature will be perfected into the image of Jesus' perfection. We will not be clones of Jesus in heaven. So, do you want to be like Jesus? God will never force a person to become like Jesus if they don't want to. And that is what hell is for. People who don't want to be like Jesus. The sobering eternal truth is this. Ultimately, God gives people what they really want. If you really want to be like Jesus, it will show in your life now, and it will become a fact in eternity. If you don't really want to be like Jesus, it will also show in your life now, and it will also become a fact in eternity. John is careful to say we shall be like him shall reminds us that even though we grow somewhat into the image now of Jesus now, we still have a long way to go. None of us will be finished until we see Jesus, and only then, truly, we shall become like him. We aren't there yet, but today, are you on the way to becoming more and more like Jesus?